Hey, let's make a poster. Embarrassing. <laughs> Hello again. Hello there. Thank you for clicking on my stupid face as I walk you through our brand new series for the next couple weeks. We are going to be going through the Star Wars sequel trilogy from The Force Awakens to The Last Jedi to Rise of Skywalker. I think if it does well, I want to do a Revenge of the Sith poster because it has the best photos right up until Ahsoka premieres. So without further ado, let's just open up Photoshop and jump right in. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! So I started with decapitating Finn. Decapitation! I liked the pose from his Battlefront character image, but his face obviously looks nothing like Finn does. So I took a production still from The Last Jedi and I stitched them together. Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? I know, before you say anything, I know this photo of Rey is not from The Force Awakens. <laughs> oh. To be honest with you, I didn't really realize it until I started working on the lightsaber and I saw the band in the middle from it getting blown apart in The Last Jedi. I just decided to roll with the punches and cover it up. So if you noticed, good on you. Please don't fucking tell me in the comments that you noticed. Let's all start clapping. Speaking of lightsabers, great transition, Colton. <laughs> the best part about making a Star Wars poster edit is doing lightsaber effects. It's so fucking fun and it's easy. The entire inner portion of a lightsaber is just white. Because it's pure light, it's overexposing the camera that is supposedly filming this person. All you really have to do is make a white rectangle and then choose your color and then go to the outer glow and inner glow effects. It was nice too, this photo of Rey already has very good reference and the effects were already kind of on her body. I went through all the same steps, making the lightsaber for Kylo Ren. The only difference being, once I had drawn out the shape, I added a ripple effect. This gave it that kind of that that fucking, that fucking a simple ripple effect. I did small and medium, layered them on top of each other, and then follow the traditional steps with red, outer, and inner glow.
too many of them. What are we going to do? Nobody asked, but it's what we're doing. So buckle up. Starting at number nine, at the bottom of the ocean is The Phantom Menace. I cannot sit through this movie. I don't understand how people like this movie. I think it's so fucking boring up until the final battle. It's a slog to sit through. And I haven't watched it since I was a child and I don't plan on watching it again. Number eight is The Rise of Skywalker. I hate this movie. It's awful. It's unsatisfying. It's not fun to watch. It's cool as a kid's movie, which I understand most of Star Wars has to be, but it's not for me. I don't like where they took the characters. I don't like what happened. And I mostly hate it for the Fortnite Palpatine tie-in advertisement. Bullshit. I hate that. I hate that. Number seven is The Clone Wars. Again, it's a fucking slog to sit through until the final act. Number six is Return of the Jedi. Not great. Not bad. If it's on TV, I will finish it. But if I'm going to Disney Plus to pick a Star Wars movie, I'm not picking this one. Number five is The Last Jedi. It's right in the middle. I understand why everyone hates it, and I understand why a lot of people like it. There's nothing I can say about this movie that hasn't already been said by the entirety of the internet. So moving on, number four is Revenge of the Sith. Now, in, if I was doing like personal favorite, regardless of objective qualities, this might be number one. This is the one that I rewatch probably the most out of all of them, but I understand that its flaws are too much to consider it the best movie in the set of nine. We're trying to get Jeff ready for the fight. I couldn't think of another word. I don't know what that's called. Number three is The Force Awakens. It is a great movie. I like all the characters. I like all the character potential storylines. I'm very upset by where it all went and how it all played out. But this was when life was good. It's a good movie, it deserves to be up here. 1A, 1B, New Hope, Empire. Everybody knows, everybody gets it. What am I gonna say about these two amazing movies? Interchangeable, they're both great.
And that's the poster. If you made it this far, thank you for watching and listening to me all the way through. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Tell me in the comments down below what you think of this poster, what you think I could have done better, and what your ranking of all the Star Wars movies is. I am genuinely interested to see how my opinions stack up to yours. Next video will be a poster on The Last Jedi, so get excited about that. And in the meantime, remember, stay sexy. May the force be with you. See ya.